Vlad, thank you. It's good to see you. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. You good for another stream? I... What the? Help! <laughs> That's not how I was imagining that. <laughs> yeah, we were like, thought, oh my gosh, you're in the studio. Of, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then you just went to well, like I thought, 11. You know, no, you, because, no, you. Because <laughs> first, you screamed, and then I screamed, and then you ran away. Well, I went, ah. ah and then yeah. you went, ah. Is it because I threw my... Yeah, and I yeah, went, oh okay. my All God. Right. It was meant to be like, hooray, oh. welcome back. Wow. Back on the sofa. <laughs> Old friend. But instead we went for um, fear. Yeah. Look, it's been a year of fear. Yay. Can we say that? Hashtag year of fear. <laughs> yes, hello, Ellen. Hi, Luke. I'm going to put these to one side. Yes, forever. Hello. You're hello. Like, I'll still do streams. Yeah, or, you know, until the next lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm all right. I'm so outside. Nice. Yeah. Isn't Look, well. I'm not in my bedroom. <laughs> It would be a Spartan bedroom. <laughs> yeah. I like to uh, sleep in a white void, so... And I like to live in the studio because it just cuts down on rent. <laughs> Why pay twice? <laughs> so wait, you've been locked down here the whole time? <laughs> you yeah. You've all these videos? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I pretended. I was like, oh, yeah, come on, yeah. So, sh show the weekend is back? Yeah, it's sort back. Of. Sort of. Sort of. Sort of. Be sort of, because, here's, look, here, look, I'll tell you a story, I'm okay? Just bringing your expectations down. <laughs> Way down. Down. Let me down, tell, down, you, down, let me tell down. you a little story. It's about uh, a boy called Luke and a girl called Ellen and another boy called Producer John. And they made a little program called Show of the Weekend. And uh, it was wonderfully received by a grateful audience for which mm -hmm. they were surprised and eternally grateful. Yeah. And it took absolutely ages every <laughs> single every single week and they kept doing it they didn't mind because because you know people liked it yeah and it was really fun to do yeah uh, but but boy howdy was show of the weekend a real a real eater of our time mm -hmm. and then the pandemic happened and we so we sort of had to shake things up and we started doing yeah. other stuff you know we were doing like live streams and different kinds of videos and actually a lot more tabletop, a lot more Oxventure. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, like, uh, we don't want to give that stuff up because yes. a lot of it we really liked. Yes. So that, but there's no room for Show of the Weekend as it was. No. <laughs> Sorry. You know how we used to do Show of the Weekend Mini? Yes. It's yes. going to be a bit yes. more like that. Yes. Ha, checkmate. We've yeah. done it before. <laughs> and you didn't mind then. So, yes, we've got a melon. Good yeah. one. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's still, but it's still in it's essence the, it's, the same show. Let's be real. It's the good bit. It's, it's the, the bit, good bit. It's the quiz. It's the quiz. The quiz. It's the quiz we you do liked. a weekly fun quiz mm -hmm. based on some cool gaming news that week or whatever games coming out. Um, just an excuse for us to be silly on the sofa yeah. and uh, hopefully entertain you. And uh, I think I think Luke, you're gonna come up with like a brand new theme and everything. Yeah, yeah. Here it is. Show of the weekend. 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 Luke, it's it's the it's the exact same one. Mm. Mm. I yes. mean. Like yeah, we love a classic. But I thought I thought you were gonna like change it to classic. like quiz we of the weekend or something. Love but... a classic. I'm okay. hearing you, El Ellen. What I'm hearing is we love a classic. Okay. <laughs> so it's still show of the weekend. Still show of the weekend. Okay. So, okay. Also, we already have the Photoshop file for making the thumbnails, <laughs> and Jane made that. Yeah. Are we gonna go, know, like, Jane? Make us Jane, another thumbnail yeah. template. No. <laughs> <laughs> Space laser. That's we don't know how to make the logo. <laughs> So it's still show the weekend. Yay. So Luke, mm. first quiz. The first quiz. The first quiz after many, many months. We many, haven't, many, many, many months. Many, many months. We haven't missed any important games though, have we? I don't uh, think. Uh, Not many? Not many? Well. Or were there many actually? Uh, like there were, there were quite a few PlayStation games that oh, came out yeah. last year. Oh no. So, right. And we didn't talk about them at all. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't. But Luke, we're going to rectify that with a PlayStation 2020 quiz. Yeah. So let's kick it off with my nice little pre-written introduction. <laughs> Luke 2020 saw a host of PlayStation releases. Yes, it was a hot year for PlayStation exclusives, and I had a whole bunch of cool quizzes planned for each one. 
Sadly, the world went a bit on fire and the circumstances we all found ourselves in meant that we couldn't do those quizzes I'd planned for show of the weekend's Purple Sofa. Hello, Purple Sofa. Hello, Hello old so chum. They, they've been getting by on rats, but they're, they're well fed now. Did it always smell like this or is that a storage issue? <laughs> I think it always did. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to change it now. <laughs> It's a living document. <laughs> Wait, living? Uh, they're my ends. My, there's some bits over here, definitely. Luke? Yes? I've brought together some of PlayStation's biggest releases of 2020 in this one huge show of the weekend quiz. Are you ready? Yes, yes. I am. I'm so ready. Let's go. Hit me with it. Question one. Okay. The Last of Us Part 2 saw Ellie all grown up and murdering people in the post-apocalyptic streets of Seattle. Luke, before everything shut down, we actually went to Seattle for PAX West. We did. We didn't murder anyone, but we so did. So stop asking. <laughs> <laughs> but we did do some exploring. Uh, Which is our alibi. Mm -hmm. But Luke, what was your favorite thing that we didn't see? We didn't saw. Yeah. Oh, what a lovely question. Um, Just remembering the times that we could get on a plane to a different ooh. country. <laughs> well, well. Um, oh, we went on the, okay, well. Obviously, it's not this, but the first thing I remembered was that Mike bought me a really nice Starbucks in one of the Starbucks <laughs> near our hotel. Well, it it's is not the that, home that... of Starbucks, though. And we were Seattle. there. We, we, saw, we went and saw the original stuff. We didn't go in because it was a bit cute. <laughs> didn't go in. Also, the Starbucks is not going to be better. It's the same It'd be Starbucks. old, if anything. <laughs> old and musty. I get enough of that at home. <laughs> and I over. Was it in Seattle where we went round all of the undergrounds? Yes. That was great. That was cool. I love yeah. like the little hidden city because they basically just kind of built on top of the city that was there, yeah. sort of. A bit I, like bits of Edinburgh. I'll tell you what though, um, so, so it's a tie between that and also Mike and I snuck off and went to a Seattle Sounders game. Yeah. Uh, and it, which was a, a soccer game. <laughs> and it was really, really fun to see a, uh, a soccer game also in in like the most bonkers massive stadium mm -hmm. that you ever did see mm -hmm. oh gosh i had a lovely time that was good and we met some of the life is strange folks as yes well, who were really nice yeah. so yeah that was a really fun trip and thumbs then, up course, to seattle mm. we've met a lot of you lovely folks yes yeah that which was, was that was that was, awesome. that was really lovely that it was, was really rad. nice and you all came and we watched a bad film together it was great was it mario it was great it was, it was mario really yeah, so the, the icing on the cake. Seattle, congratulations on your thumbs up, city. Mm -hmm. Great also, times. Also, I found the hotel that we stayed in in The Last of Us. It's in the oh, yeah. district. <laughs> oh, it's, got, it's got very recognisable sort yeah. of bits. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the bit. <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima was the final exclusive released on the PS4. Was that last year? Yeah. Okay. That was last, last summer. Playing Noble Samurai Jin, you had to fight off invaders using your fighting and rogue skills. Mm. One great feature is the standoff, where you square up against your opponents and slice them down one by one as they try to attack you in a reflexive battle to the death. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. So, in this game, you can eventually stack up to five of these defensive attacks. So, okay. Luke, yeah. I have decided to test your samurai skills. <sighs> He's just going right. to stab me. Okay, oh, well. So deflect it. <laughs> Luke, uh, <laughs> please take this sword. It's sadly not an authentic katana. <laughs> Is it not? No. You surprised me. I got it in the gift shop at the Guildhall London. Oh. <laughs> well, it's lovely. It's part of Meryl Wen's, like, kit. What basically. does he do in Gladiator when he first picks up a sword and he's like, and he's, he's like, I think he just sort of spins it twice and it's like... Yes. <laughs> God, holding a sword feels amazing. It does feel good. Uh, right, so, Luke, I'm going to stand in the corner and I have some video game characters that I'm going to throw your way. <laughs> and I'm going to slice them out the air. And you, yeah, you like have to Fruit slice, Ninja. A little bit like that. Amazing. But a bit, hopefully, more like Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just wave it like that. Yeah. For, like, so fast. Everyone the Bart you, Simpson technique. But <laughs> everyone yeah. that you miss, you will lose a third of your health. So. Hit, okay. Hit, don't hit, like fail to hit three and you die. I won't fail. Um, but if you hit three, you can start your training to go and become a samurai warrior. So I'm going to go right. over here. That's, I mean, that's a sort of pitcher's stance, isn't it? Which is basically what we're after. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to, I'll try and be a bit more sort of sword-like. Okay. okay. 
Right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Doof, 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 doof. <laughs> okay, you gotta I gotta hit. Touched it. A glancing blow. Mm. Glancing blow. Did it hit your shoulder? No. <laughs> if so. it hit his shoulder, it was because it was already sliced in half. Okay. <laughs> already yeah. dead. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> and this one I'm going to do it like this, like a kind of like a faint to the left, but actually, yeah. oh, downward strike. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, that's what's going okay. to happen. <laughs> ah! Yes. Yeah, have some of that, Destiny. Okay, heads oh, up. Uh, ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> Kill him. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Oh, that last one hit my fingers a bit. <laughs> the important thing is. The important thing is. <laughs> Skewy G. I can't get him to stay there. No. Maybe on his spine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to go start your training. Yeah. No matter what comes through those gates. <laughs> we a better chance of surviving it if we work together. <laughs> With the release of the PlayStation 5 came Astro's Playroom, a cute and brilliant little platformer that showed off the PS5 controller's new functionalities and was full of a whole bunch of PlayStation nostalgia. Part of the game was little Astrobot collecting old pieces of PlayStation technology and bringing it all together in a great big museum-like room. Oh yeah. Luke, what is the coolest bit of old technology you found while sorting out your stuff? Well, if you know a recent clear out, revealed my Game Boy Advance, which was nice, which nice. I hadn't thought about in a very long time. Nice. And for my original Game Boy, do you remember how the Game Boy was like so, the screen was so small and, and bad? <laughs> so this was this was like a sort of very, very clunky attachment. It was a third party thing. Mm -hmm. Kind of hooked onto the top of the Game Boy, came over the top and then over the front of the screen. It was just a large a magnifying, magnif magnifying yes, glass. I remember those. And it also had little lights. On yeah, the so you could so, yeah, play yeah. it in the, because. For those of you too young to remember, that you had to like be in daylight to play yeah. a Game Boy. Basically. But th but this way, back of the car, channel crossing, yes please. <laughs> Getting a Mewtwo, mate. No problem. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Well, Astro's Playroom though also had some funny and some slightly self-congratulating one-liners associated oh, yeah. Yeah. with its technology. Bit, we had of a, to pick up. bit of a Sony love-in, isn't it? So, Luke, mm -hmm. for your chosen bit of technology, please come up with a funny one-liner oh. that will go next to its pedestal when little Astrobot would run up and read it. It's a good question. Unnamed third-party Game Boy light magnifier combo kit. Um, it's bigger and lighter, but a lot heavier. Hey, that's pretty good, that's right? That's good, that's good! Uh, uh, yeah. Pithy, maybe just four stops. Bigger, lighter, a lot heavier. Yes, yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the format, that's yeah. it. Perfect. Also, Luke, mm. I have brought in this old iPod. Bloody mm. hell. I would like you to come up with a funny quip one-liner that would go oh, to for describe the, for the, the iPod. For this iPod? iPod. This little music maker got the jobs done. Because it's Steve Jobs. Also with the release of the PS5 came Spider-Man Miles Morales. Oh my god, it was, it was a good year. Thing. Yeah, it was a really good year and we were stuck inside for all of it. It was a very good year. Uh, Sorry, keep going. <laughs> a Christmas timed adventure for the most adorable spider teen. Peter Parker went off on holiday, leaving Miles in charge of being the friendly neighborhood Spider Man, right when some new big bad was trying to overtake the city. Luke, share with us the time that you were thrown in the deep end. Oh, <laughs> gosh. All right, well, um, what about when I started this job? Here's an example. I remember, like, in my first week or something, or like before we launched the channel, Jane was sort of like laying out what a kind of sh schedule was going to look like. And mm -hmm. it was like, so every week, some community show or something, and we're expecting like a list every week. Mm -hmm. A list every week was the phrase. Yeah. Now I knew we were doing those kind of like features, the kind of like seven things, I knew that was the plan. But for some reason I got in my head that when Jane said list, it was some YouTube feature I didn't know. Like we had to Aww. make a playlist or click some <laughs> button or something. So I was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> looking in the manager being like, how do you add a list? <laughs> God, imagine if it was that easy. <laughs> imagine. Yeah. Once a week, so he's had to go in, add a list. <laughs> Next up, uh, we're going to need the table. Oh. We can do things in person. <laughs> Let's get that table. 
Finally, Luke. Yeah. Another PS5 day release was Demon's Souls. Oh, bloody hell, yes. Lovingly remastered for the newest generation of Sony console. We say lovingly, uh, the designs in the, ge the game will uh, probably give you nightmares, to be honest. Yeah. As will some of the names of the bosses. I'm sorry, but Dirty Colossus. Filth. He is quite dirty. Absolute filth. He's quite. Do you think he's covered in bees? So. <laughs> he's covered in bees. Covered in bees or something. Something is swarming. I like my coffee like I like my women. <laughs> covered in bees. Luke, yeah. we watched you destroy these bosses live on stream, but can you create one? Yes. Where's my sword? If I'm going to do a demon sword, I want the sword back. Yeah! Oh no, Play-Doh! <laughs> so Are we play doh for the last one. You, you were here because Andy, Andy did it last time. So there's a way, he used all the good colours. Uh, the, there's not much green or yellow left. Right, what was he so, making? Well, he was making the little link. He was making a little link. Oh like God, that thing. Link, um, which we can't find anymore. <laughs> it's true, we came back to the studio and we're like, where are the plasticine? <laughs> First off, we're not just creating and making one that's already in the game. We're going to create a whole new Soulsborne boss. Great, great. Okay. Great. Okay. And we've, we've got, so we're going to help you create a name and then you have to make it based off that name. So. Cool, okay. Give me a number between one and six. Six. Okay, great. Give me a number between one and six. Um, the final one has been deleted, which is great. Give me a oh. number between one and five. <laughs> five. So we have got Annoyed Eater. Oh, okay. <laughs> the profaned annoyed eater of. Mm -hmm. Let's get all these out. Of the I'm gonna draw them. Van Boreas smell land. Don't need any of the cutting tools. No, none of the tools. I, well, I have this sword, don't I? <laughs> I mean, initially, I was picturing like the Rolling Stones mouth. Oh, right. But also kind of like a mimic, you know, kind of like blah, 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 with the big sort of tongue. Mm. But actually, I think it's a bit obvious. I want to go more in line of like a sort of dune sandworm. Ooh. Right? So that's the kind. I don't right. think, from memory, there's been a From Software boss that is essentially a large digestive tract. No. So that is, that's, yeah, that's it. Color wise, uh, there's going to be stomach acid. Mm -hmm. uh, that, obviously, that's green. And the actual tract, how much orange have we got? All the orange we need. So, yeah, big orange tract. <laughs> Um, let's just... Alright. Oh no, I've fallen out of the first turn. <laughs> Would you like a hand I'm, I need the small fingers of a child. Okay, okay. Right, there we go. Okay. God, it smells good this time. It does, it does. It smells absolutely incredible. Let's just roll it out. I think, okay, how about... Made a carrot. I've made, <laughs> what I will do is I will just make the bit of the boss that you see as the player. This boss fight is going to be a little bit like um, the Molduga battle in Breath of the Wild, right? Okay. So you're going to be sort of in a large desert area mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to burst out of, yeah, it's gonna burst out of the floor. Like, just a big sinkhole's going to open. Just sort of hammer this flat. Mm -hmm. Love it, love Using it. Using craft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is going to be, this is, this is a sort of desert floor, right? Right, right. Ah, yeah, and fact, then that's fact, it kind of I like coming out sort of, I can sort of use my knuckles to give it texture. texture. Yeah, and it's going to sort of burst out like this. Mm -hmm. Out of the thing. I'll tell you what, let's, I'm going to do another ring. <laughs> People are going to point out that there is a, a boss that's exactly like this that I've forgotten. Kind of big sort of sandworm. There's the snake in Sekiro. Mm -hmm. But like, there are... John. <laughs> Please. So this is sort of like... That's it, like bursting out. That came out so perfectly. Oh. I might just sort of... <laughs> not really thought it through, but okay, but we'll, we'll have that. And I mm -hmm. Oh, okay, wait, it's all coming together in my mind. So I was thinking it would be a kind of big circular moor, mm -hmm. but actually now that that's happened, uh, I think it would be creepier. <laughs> now that that's happened. Now that that's happened. <laughs> I think it would be creepier actually, and possibly a little bit more from soft. Yeah. If this thing didn't really have like sort of eyes, mm -hmm. and, and even though it was called the eater, you never see its mouth, 
Instead, what you see is a big grasping hand because that that really oh, is kind of. Oh, okay. That really is what they're all about, isn't it? They just like okay, a, they so just you... love a long, very. So I'm going to try and make a sort of spindly grasping hand. So there's just like yeah, there's just this big hand mm -hmm. sort of protruding, mm -hmm. and that can kind of be off here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks good. Okay, now it's got several. It's got to have several. Actually, this one I was going to put there too uniform. This 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 hand protrudes off of this bit, and it's just kind of reaching round to grasp at the player. Tiny, <laughs> tiny, tiny hands and tiny, tiny fingers. Tiny hands and tiny fingers. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, you've gone for a much nicer sort of hand. There we go. That's fine. <laughs> Pop that on the end. Yeah. It's a lot of grab attacks, which are my least favourite kind. Mm -hmm. A lot of grab attacks in this battle, uh, and this this bit kind of is always searching for you. This one, uh, if you if you're under it, you're safe, but because right. this one's always just kind of like sweeping out blindly, this mm -hmm. thing can't see. And mm -hmm. if it gets you with this hand, mm -hmm. uh, it'll just this bit will just disappear inside, and it'll just pull pull you in. Yeah, and yeah, um, yeah it will poop you out like over here. Right. Um, I'll make. I'll tell you what. I'll make a little. Hero. Of, just for you know, just for a sense of scale, apart from yeah. anything else. Just like, yeah. Oh dear, <laughs> it's already gone very wrong. Trying to make a little stick man out of. Oh dear, this has already gone very wrong. <laughs> Welcome back to Show the Weekend. <laughs> that's come out too big. Well, anyway, that's. <laughs> you know, actually, that looks kind of okay size-wise. <laughs> let's let's. It's been grabbed over the face. Is being dragged. Like uh, what was it called again? The annoyed. Annoyed eater. The annoyed eater. Look, the only, John, getting a good shot on that. <laughs> the only, I think I'm going to sort of like poke some. I'm just going to damage it. Yeah, because it's a little bit perfect. Well, what's the what's the soul? It's like the a a, a long a, a very sad or something long and possibly endless descent into ruin. That's yeah. what these bosses are supposed to have. Yeah. Uh, backstory. Uh, it was a great. Duke, a military hero that the entire kingdom loved, mm -hmm. um, but un unfortunately fell to uh, the study of blue magic, uh, and you know, needless to say, was turned into a uh, an, annoyed, an annoyed eater, an annoyed eater. Um, yeah, because always had to consume more and more. Uh, blue ashes, let's say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you would that would just be briefly. If you look at the description for its soul, all, that, all the information you need would be in there. Great. What do you think? It's great. I'm just going to hit it once with the sword <laughs> because I'm pretty sure that's what I'm pretty sure that's what the team. At, they make something and then they, they, just make, go, they make the design and then they're just like, now it's there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is how they did it. This is how they did them all. This is how they did the remaster. This is how they made old King Galant. Mhm. Mhm. Well, Luke. Um... You can get a visceral on this bit if you time time it right. <laughs> well, Luke, thank you for taking part in my PlayStation 2020. We're back, quiz. baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 going to do it for yeah. show, show, show the weekend. Yeah, first show of the weekend. Bye. But we Ooh. we will be back next week, mm -hmm. barring. Circumstances mm -hmm. occurring. Sometimes circumstances occur. Mm -hmm. But that's the aim. Every mm -hmm. week on the weekend, this sort of thing. This so, sort yeah. of silly, fun thing. Bear with us and, th and thank you. Thank Rawr. you for. I just want to bear with you. And thank you for having <laughs> Ben with us. Yes. Uh, over, over. Uh, uh, down. Uh, very thanks for joining us time. on lots of streams and watching all of our Blades in the Dark. That was fun. Yeah, gosh, there's so many so, things yeah. that we did. did we? All of the lot of stuff. Uh, Souls Academy. Yes. Oh my goodness. Bloodborne. Yes. It, it was like, oh man. Yeah. You mean Bloodborne and Demon Souls? Mm -hmm. That's good. Demon Souls. Bloody blood, bloody blood, blood bone. <laughs> blood, blood, blood. <laughs> oh no, I undid the good work. Oh man. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, don't worry, guys. Oh. <laughs> That's harsh but fair. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I always knew when we got back in the studio you would cut my head off with a big sword. <laughs> this, is how, this is how I thought it was. It's fine, it's fine, it's not sticks, this is a little sword. There's a big sword over there though. It's hanging over. Metaphorically. <laughs> Thanks for watching folks. See you next time. Stay safe out there. Yeah. Wear a mask, get 
just jab all Keep your that hands stuff. clean, all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Wash your dang hands Wash is the thing that we made a t-shirt of, isn't it? Enthusiastic <laughs> nod from producer John. John, come, come give a... John, come, yeah. come, come on, come in here. John. Come in here. I'm coming, I'm coming. Here he comes. Yeah. Hey! Oh. 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 John, 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 careful of my bottle. <laughs>